Hello everyone, welcome to exercise therapy class. Today we will discuss about elbow manual muscle testing. So what are the muscles around elbow joint? So the muscles around elbow joint are elbow flexors and extensors. So let's discuss about elbow flexors manual muscle testing first. So elbow flexors are biceps, brachialis and brachioradialis. So these three are the major elbow flexors. So let's discuss about the group muscle elbow flexors MMT. So how should we position the patient? The position of the patient for assessing MMT grade 5, 4 and 3 would be short sitting with arms at the side. So you can see the picture. The therapist will support the elbow and then the patient is asked to flex the elbow joint against the gravity. So to to make the biceps brachialis and brachioradialis as a group against the gravity, we have to position the patient in short sitting with arms at the side and we'll instruct the patient to perform elbow flexion against gravity. So patient flexes elbow through range of motion and we know that before examining the active range of motion, we have to perform passive range of motion first. So if patient is able to complete the full range of motion that was available while performing passive range of motion, we will grade it as grade 3 against gravity. And then we can apply resistance at the end range or throughout the range, whichever is preferable. And then we will see whether it is grade 5 or grade 4. Now let's move on to a video demonstration for group flexors MMT. So in this, we have to also remember that the uh, radio ulnar joint can be in preferable position for group MMT. Uh, patient can keep the radio ulnar joint in fully uh, supine position or uh, slightly supine position, supination position, sorry. So here you can see the patient is uh, in short sitting and therapist supports the elbow. Then patient is asked to perform flexion against the gravity and once patient performs flexion against gravity it will be graded as grade 3 if patient is able to perform full range of motion after that the therapist can apply the resistance and we can ask the patient to go for elbow flexion against the resistance so in this again the position is uh, supinated forearm which is preferred by the patient and it is more comfortable for group uh, MMT for elbow flexors. Now alternate position if patient is not able to uh, sit then we can uh, go for alternate position that is supine position. So you can see in the picture we can place the patient in supine lying with arm by the side and then the therapist will ask the patient to perform flexion of elbow joint. So here in the video you can see the patient is lying supine with arm by the side and the therapist will ask uh, to perform elbow flexion and if patient is able to perform against gravity it is grade 3. Then after that patient uh, the therapist will apply resistance to see if the muscle strength is grade 4 or 5 depending on, upon the amount of resistance applied. So this is the alternate position for elbow flexors group muscle testing. Now next is elbow flexors for grade 2. What should be the position for examining grade 2 MMT? If patient was not able to perform grade 3 in that previous position then we will go for grade 2 group MMT testing. So the position of the patient should be short sitting again with arm abducted to 90 degree. You can see in the picture arm is abducted to 90 degree and supported by the examiner. Then in this position we will ask the patient to go for elbow flexion. Let's see in the video. So patient's arm you can see the shoulder is abducted to 90 degree or flex to 90 degree 
and we lock the uh, and it is supported by the therapist at the elbow as well as the forearm then the patient is asked to go for flexion so this is the position for grade 2 MMT now if a patient is not able to perform or if it is not uh, so uh, appreciable grade 2 then we can uh, ask the patient to sit in front of the couch and we can place the forearm or the upper arm abducted 90 degree on the couch and then or or we can uh, use the suspension for the patient's forearm to be suspended and then we can ask the patient to perform elbow flexion Now moving on to individual muscle MMT for elbow flexors. So uh, first muscle we would like to discuss is uh, biceps brachii. So how we will position the uh, forearm for elbow flexors biceps brachii individual manual muscle testing. So for biceps brachii we have to keep the forearm supinated. So forearm is supinated and in this position we will ask the patient to go for elbow flexion. So forearm has to be supinated for assessing biceps brachii. Now next uh, we will see the video here. So it's same as uh, group manual muscle testing for elbow flexors. Mostly uh, the forearm is always supinated. So for biceps brachii it has to be supinated. Next is uh, brachialis. So how to examine manual muscle testing for brachialis? The position of the patient should be uh, pronated forearm. So in this position, the brachialis will be exposed to gravity and also exposed to resistance. So if it is pronated, then we can see the effort mostly from the brachialis. So in this position, we'll ask the patient to go for elbow flexion. So we can take it into three stages. First for grade three, then we'll apply resistance for grade four and even more resistance for grade five. Let's uh, see the video here. The patient is uh, short seating and uh, forearm is pronated. Therapist is supporting the elbow. Now, the therapist asks the patient to go for elbow flexion in pronated forearm position. And then the resistance is applied to see grade 4 or grade 5 muscle strength. Now, the last uh, elbow flexors individual muscle testing would be for brachioradialis. So, brachioradialis functions maximum when the forearm is kept in mid prone position so it will be between pronation and supination so in you can see here the forearm is in mid prone position now let's check the video here now the patient is asked to flex the elbow in mid prone position yeah and uh, the resistance they applied to C for grade 4 and grade 5 so we can see one more time here, mid prone position, ask the patient to go for flexion of elbow, apply the resistance and check for grade 4 or grade 5. This is for brachioradialis. Now moving on to elbow extensors. What are the elbow extensors? It is triceps and enconius. So mainly the triceps which has three heads, how should we position the patient and here for elbow extensors, the enconius is um, very small muscle so we can um, test triceps and enconius together so there is uh, no uh, individual muscle testing here. So enconius and triceps for that patient should be positioned in prone lying position. On the table the patient starts uh, the test with the arm in 90 degree abducted position so shoulder should be 90 degree abducted arm hanging out of the couch and forearm flexed uh, sorry uh, the elbow flexed and it is hanging vertically over the side of the table in this position we'll ask the patient to perform elbow extension so you can see here 
in the video the patient is placed prone with the shoulder abducted to 90 degree forearm out of the couch elbow flexed and then we instruct the patient to perform extension of elbow and with applying resistance we can see for grade 4 and grade 5 so you can see the movement is against gravity therefore we are positioning the patient in this position now how to this is for grade 2 elbow extensors triceps and enconius for grade 2 again we have to eliminate the gravity so therefore we have to position the patient in a uh, short sitting the arm is abducted to 90 degree with the shoulder in neutral rotation no internal no external rotation and the elbow flexed to about 45 degree so the entire limb is horizontal to the floor therefore in this position the gravity will be eliminated but we have to keep in mind we have to support the arm the therapist supports the arm at the elbow as well as the forearm then we ask the patient to perform extension. Some of the alternate position for elbow extensors. You can see uh, high sitting, a uh, short sitting with uh, abducted shoulder, internally rotated shoulder and elbow flexed. So abducted to 90 degree, internally rotated to 90 and elbow flexed position is alternate position. Another alternate position is supine position. So patient is in supine position, shoulder flexed to 90 degree and elbow flexed. Then we ask the patient to perform extension of elbow. So here in the first video you can see uh, the first alternate position for triceps and enconius. So elbow is flexed, shoulder is abducted and internally rotated. In this position the patient will perform extension of elbow against the resistance against the gravity second alternate position is supine where shoulder is flexed to 90 degree elbow flexed and the patient is asked to perform extension of elbow so we need to remember there will be a lot of trick movements which patient would like to perform so stabilization of the proximal uh, part of the joint is very important and also explanation of to the patient how to perform the movement so that the trick movements can be reduced